How's it going everyone? And welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to properly connect your Namecheap domain to Bluehost. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So right before we get into the video, I just want to quickly mention that if you guys are interested in using Namecheap as a domain and hosting site, be sure to check out our link down in the description below to get some cool discounts on hosting as well as domains. And by doing so, you'll be greatly supporting the, supporting the channel. Thank you. Now back to the video. So to actually do this is quite simple. And much like with any uh, process that involves connecting two platforms or two domain and hosting sites, you would first need to unlock both platforms. So to do so is quite simple. Um, in this case, uh, you want to head on over to Bluehost and make sure that um, this option, uh, the lock domain, the one with the uh, lock icon is unlocked. And you want to do the same for Namecheap. Now, the, the reason for this is because it actually makes the transfer possible or the connection between the two platforms uh, to actually take place. And uh, by unlocking it, um, we're actually able to uh, transfer our data without any hitches. So once you have that going, once both domains are unlocked, you'd want to head on over to the control panel for Bluehost or Namecheap. And I should mention that um, the process for this works either way. You could either do this on Namecheap or vice versa. Now, once you guys are here, you want to click on um, Advanced Tools and under Name Service DNS, you want to click on Manage, and then uh, just basically agree, click on Continue, and then you want to add a new name server. Now, the name server for Namecheap is ns1.namecheap.com as well as ns2.namecheap.com. So uh, what you're looking to do here is simply type that down once you uh, input a new name server. And you want to do the same for uh, Namecheap, only this time uh, you would enter Bluehost uh, Bluehost name server. So um, for Bluehost, it would be ns1.bluehost.com as well as ns2.bluehost.com. And once you guys have done that, simply hit save and you're done. You've successfully connected your Namecheap domain to Bluehost as well as vice versa. So uh, right before we end the video here, I just want to quickly remind you guys that you're, if you're still interested in using Namecheap as a, a domain and hosting site, be sure to click our link down in the description below to get access to some cool discounts on hosting as well as domains. And by doing so, you'll be greatly supporting the channel. So with all that said, thank you all for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.